Hello everyone, we are here at Chocolat in Berlin with the lovely punks from the uh, I Destroy from ever so sunny Hello. UK. How are you guys doing? We are very good, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, this is the scene we have, so let's just get started with it. There is sad news to start with, really. The um, Chris Cornell passed away this oh, night, have yeah, you heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, we've kind of just heard, heard how he passed away as well. And we, we, yes. Yeah, we were in there, we come off stage and then we we heard how he, he died and yeah, it was just really upsetting. Like, it was a big influence, like, especially on me, like um, the Audio Slave songs in particular. Amazing. So, yeah, really sad news. Not Those good. are. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have anything to say about that? Uh, I, just, I was just thinking, I can't believe someone so influential and someone made such a big impact on so many people and mm. like, could still, I don't know, it happens, I guess, to a lot of creative people. Uh, but can still feel so down that they end up committing suicide on a tour. Yes. Like, how bad can the can yeah. everything be going for, yeah. for that? Yeah. You want to do that? It's so talented. It, yeah, there's so much talent. It's, it's like, sadly it's not really the first sad. time. Just, no, yeah. that's what yeah. I was saying to Becky. Uh, literally so earlier much. on when we got off stage, uh, yeah, we were just saying about it. it. Happens all the time to musicians, and yeah, it's not Kurt good. Kurt Cobain, good. all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Kurt I mean, Cobain, we're like, saying about even in like famous actors like Robin Williams and. Yeah, all these and, uh, people you think, you know, they're living the dream, that's what you aspire yeah. to be, to, for your life to be like uh, as musicians and as creative people, like to be in the spotlight and like, you know, have achieved so many great things. And then, you know, for some people when they get there and they, they've done all this, like it's, mm. I can't imagine how, what could be going on in their head yeah. to... Beneath to, the surface. Beneath the surface, yeah. What's going on there. Mm. So anyway, it's Chris Cornell. <laughs> Chris Cornell I would share for that. Chris Cornell. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <too. laughs> Not too late. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get back to you guys. Yeah, That's happy thoughts thing. now. Like. <laughs> right, so you basically appeared out of nowhere back in 2015, late 2015. 2015. Yeah. Was that? that was like two years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's already. That's because we formed in 2015. <laughs> exactly. Kind of. yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, you're right. We did appear kind of out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, we'd been working together for a little while since before 2015, like writing some songs and having a jam. But I think we really started gigging in 2015. And then we only released our first release in 2016, um, so last year, and we've been kind of gigging non-stop ever since. Yeah, the so. Vanity Loves Me, that was the first Yeah, recording. that was our first yeah. release, yeah. We did it in February last year, so. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then <laughs> you were also reportedly saying that you would be trying to get the next album out at the end of last year. Yeah, that's very true. But then we kind of got caught up, I think, in gigging. Uh, we just love getting out on the road yeah, I've been touring a bit too since. much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we kind of got carried away touring that. <laughs> Um, so we didn't manage to get back into the studio until at the very start of this year. Um, which and how's that going? That's amazing. Well, we recorded two songs, um, and what was it? Feb? No. Oh, it was December. It was December. We recorded year. the songs, yeah. and then we released them in February, March time. Maybe it was March. March. Yeah. Everything's March. kind of blurring. In. We're we're <laughs> a tour mode at the moment. It's kind of <laughs> blurring into one. Um, so yeah, we've got two new singles out at the moment, um, and the music videos uh, have just come out. Uh, what were the singles down. called again? Uh, the first single we released this year was Annie, and then the second one was 98%, and the video for that came out... You got videos for both of them, Yeah, they had yeah. two yeah. videos, um, and the video for 98% came out just before we came on tour in Germany. So. And any new plans for the other videos this year as well, then? Yeah, there will be, yep, definitely. Um, we're going to do a few more gigs and a few more tours, some festivals in England planned. Um, Home and down then, Bristol or elsewhere? Yeah, there's some in Bristol. Um, but really all around the country in England, and I think we are coming back to Germany as well. We've got a few things to announce, bits and pieces. Um, and yeah, get back in the studio as soon as possible, really, to release and record another EP before the end of the year. Yeah. So that's all. Oh, you have had several partners when you have filmed your videos before. Is there any set partner for the next ones, or is it just going basically randomly in this sense? What was that, sorry? What can you tell us about the partners you have when you're filming the videos, the music videos? The people that film the videos? Yes, exactly. Yeah, um, so the guy that did um, our Annie video also did the 98% video, mm -hmm. and we've got quite a good partnership with him going on. So he's going to continue with them then? Yeah, I'd like to keep working with him. He's such a creative guy. I mean, he gets us standing around in the cold for like hours, <laughs> and we're always like, we want to go home now. But we know that it's because he wants to get the best shots available. Yeah, we're always really happy with like the final 
Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a very, very long, like, an unhappy day. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. By, by it's the time, happening. like, he sends us the edit, we're, we're like, like, wow, that's okay, cool. That was <laughs> okay. Do you yeah. come up with the stories for the videos yourselves, or is it the di- mm. uh, director who comes up with them? Uh, it's kind it? of a mixture of both, really. Yeah. Um, I think for the first video we did, Vanity Loves Me, one, I, I kind of had a picture in my mind what I wanted, and it kind of came out like that, yeah. surprisingly. Yeah. I was like, wow, <laughs> this has come out, like, how I envisioned. And then we all came up with the idea for the state of the art one of like going to the bookshop and doing a really DIY based video. Um, and yeah, same with the new ones. We just worked, we collaborated with this guy called Sam. Um, he's brilliant. So we kind of have a vague idea and he'll like push it in the right direction. I think. Yeah, it kind of depends on like what locations are available and yeah, where we get what's to available and at the time. And yeah, yeah. It kind of fits together. <laughs> yeah. All after Sam then. Yeah, all to Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, it's like, getting back to the album in a sense, do you have any estimate when the new album will be released and since you have gotten back to recording it now? Yeah, I mean, I'm, we're thinking of doing another EP this year, um, so summer, there won't be a full late album. Summer. Yeah, I'm not going to make any promises <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> before the end of the year. Yeah. Um, but next year we're, we're going to do the album, I think, yeah, and uh, crack on with that. It might take a little while you yeah. know, to get more tracks together but, um, after, after the EP, but um, that that's the schedule for us. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're going to try EP and stick to it, but we do tend to get sidetracked by touring. <laughs> yes. it's like, oh, that's what you guys are active at. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you guys are very active at in it's brilliant, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the videos as well, you guys have been doing a lot of videos for somebody mm, yeah. who has only one EP out at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, it's the EP and then, as I say, the singles that came out yeah, um, yeah recently. So, Not yeah. so many songs, but great songs so far. Oh, thank, you thank you very much. Thank you. I like your channel, I like the videos, absolute fan. It's oh, brilliant. brilliant, thank you. <laughs> so, speaking of that, actually, what kind of crowd do you guys think you are dragging in, in a sense? You are kind of very it, traditional it, punk-wise. It really depends on the whereabouts we're playing in the, in the country or, or in, in other countries. But it's, I don't know, what would you guys say? It's kind of, it is quite a punk crowd. It, it, it depends I don't know, yeah, I mean, on I the venue. We, yeah, we're the kind of band that can fit with a lot of different mm. types of lineup and a lot of different genres. So we often get put with um, punk bands, but we usually stand out from punk. We're not really yeah. quite punk. Um, but then it's uh, actually very close go. to very traditional kind of uh, yeah. female punk at least yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's because we take quite like, a lot of inspiration yeah from that. it's more like riot but, girl kind of punk yeah so if you put it with like you know some of the, some of the like the like more hardcore punk and the oi bands and stuff like this like you end up it, it stands out but mm. um it works together. i think it stands out in a good way yeah, yeah. 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 You're a relatively new band in a sense, so there is not much change coming up. But has there been any talking about exactly that? Has there been any plan on making a sort of your own twist or anything else new on that, or can we expect the same recipe working on the next album as well? What was that? Sorry for like the same recipe. The like, same recipe. What other bands are working on the same recipe? Or you guys? Us like, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, gonna stick with the. I think it will. Works, it will be. I mean, I kind of want to explore in a, a couple of other like avenues and stuff. But I think we, as a band, know what works at the moment for us, mm. and we know what works well. Um, we obviously, I, I definitely want to just keep writing better and better songs, yeah. and that, I think that's how how we all work. We just want to keep improving on, on what we've done. I mean, I think the new release, ninety eight percent. Personally, I think that's the best thing that we put out, and I just want to. I want to keep feeling like that. I, I don't want to put something out that I'm like, oh, well, they, what we released two years was better. Two years ago was yeah. better, sort of thing. So Never look in the past. Like, you past yeah, exactly. Great. I'm always but like trying to look look to the future. The yeah. next thing. And we so. always uh, road test our songs for quite, like usually for like quite a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we get them ready to gig and then we keep playing them and then yeah. then like like we'll be in like the rehearsal room getting the song together. Then we'll go and gig it. Then we'll get back in the rehearsal room and be like, what? Is this is not working well. well. Yeah. yeah, tighten everything up. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's, it's quite of a, a long process, but we <laughs> figure out. I feel like we figure out what's working what definitely yeah. the best songs that are good. It's always translate. kind of good to take the songs out to the fans and play them live first before recording them and then like see so kind of what goes down well live yeah. and uh, yeah. a lot of bands don't do that. Uh, yeah, I think they're, they're like, so. oh, they'll keep it all under wraps, this is the new yeah. song, like nobody can hear it. Like, don't want to <laughs> yeah. leak it out, someone might film it and like yeah. it's a disaster. But you know, we're we're like we just want to like, kind of the opposite. Let it grow yeah. organically and, and like 
There's some really, really like strange versions of the, like um, some of the songs we have released that yeah. we've like played like twice the speed, yeah. um, <laughs> and then thought hmm, that doesn't work. We're not going to do that in the studio, and then yeah, take it back into. So they get a lot of experiment. Yeah. <coughs> sorry, you take a lot of experiment of things to the yeah, stage itself yeah. and figure out from there what the record. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's a good approach. That's really interesting kind of approach. Process. I like you it. never yeah. know the certain in the studio when you're just the three of you together. It, you know, you have yeah. to try it with with a live audience and yeah, and everything and yeah, all experiments. Yeah. Very different. Yeah, like it, like definitely. it. <laughs> and uh, basically, you mentioned about a couple of venues you have been. Have, is there any particular favorite country you would like to visit in the future tours, or uh, has there been oh, wow. one already? <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about this. Like, we literally, I don't think there's a country we, we don't want to visit. We, we just, I, I think we, we love going to different places and just. But we do love Germany, however. Like we, we have had such a good time so far. So I just mentioned Berlin, or I'm going to edit it out. All <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, Berlin was incredible tonight. Like we, we're such so happy time. that. I mean, this is the first time we gigged here, and like loads and loads of people turned up. Um, well, brilliant. this is kind of a hometown for you guys, in a sense. It's like yeah, yeah. German yeah. version of Bristol, right? Exactly. <laughs> we, we kind of. I felt at home tonight, and they're and they're yeah. playing. Like it was really nice. It was, it was small but packed out and kind of really. Everyone seems to be up for a good yeah, time. Yeah, there's energy in there. Yeah. <laughs> but we we've, we've played Spain before, and like that was kind of that was amazing. Like as well, we kind of got our same reaction to here, like with the people, just really up for a good time. Um, but yeah, I want to go to America. I'd love to tour there and. Japan would be amazing. Japan, oh, yeah. just yeah. Scandinavia. <laughs> Literally, there's not a place yeah. we wouldn't play. Like we, we just want to. You world. just want to go yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. It. that's it. Really, yeah. So, <laughs> far away from Bristol, in a sense. Oh, <laughs> it's crazy, every but once in a while. yeah. yeah. Just, <laughs> like we we always gig like far away from Bristol, and then whenever we do a hometown show back in Bristol, I'm always like, oh no, I, I really loved playing in Bristol. Our home fans, so yeah. it's always good. <laughs> Fantastic. Is there, is there anything else you guys want to add here? Or? Well, maybe just if you've not heard of us before, then go and check out our YouTube videos. That would oh, be yes, lovely. there are great yeah, videos yeah. up there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, where I destroy. It was lovely. Lovely, lovely to chat with you. Fantastic yeah. punk band yeah. back from yeah. Bristol, UK. Ever so sunny over there. Yeah. It's not sunny, it's <laughs> rainy and rubbish. That's what they all keep saying. Berlin is sunny. <laughs> 20 degrees today. Oh my god, yeah. So hot. Thank you so much, guys, for the interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>